Today, guys, I'm going to show you exactly how to make Roblox thumbnails on mobile in 2024. Now, I did make this video over a year ago, and I wanted to remake this video because I found a better method to do it, and I think the quality of this video is going to be a lot better than the old one. So let's get right into this video. So the first thing you guys want to do is install CapCut. This does also have a video editor as well as a photo editor, so that is a nice touch. So the first thing we're going to need to do is actually get images for our thumbnail. So you're going to open up your search engine, and you guys are going to want to go to this Bing image creator. I will have a link to this on my website below if you guys need it. I'll have a link to all of this resources, uh, and you guys can also just go to kogajoel.com if you need any of the resources that are linked in this video but as you guys can see all you have to do is go up to this little search box and type in your prompt and in my case i typed in male shocked looking to the right white background roblox style make sure you have the white background and roblox style because that is going to be very very important here in a second so once we have a character that we like now obviously a lot of these have imperfections and what i would recommend is actually generating as many of these as possible just until you get the right one that looks correct you get 15 credits every day so it's not really too big of a deal all right so once you have the character that we're going to use this one's okay so i'm just going to go ahead and use this one what you guys need to do is click the three buttons right here three dots click download click view and then hold down on the image and click add to photos now i already have this added to my photos so there's no reason for me to go ahead and do this but the next thing i'm going to actually go ahead and do is type in remove bg remove.bg and click on this remove background website this is going to go ahead and remove the white background from this character so that he is completely it's just him so i'm going to click on photo library and i'm going to go ahead and select our character click choose and this is going to go ahead and completely erase the background background for us so as you guys can see now we have a transparent background and we have our character and then you guys can simply click download I'm gonna click view and then I'm going to hold down and click add to photos now if we go back to our Bing website we're gonna to want to type in what we want our background to be and what I recommend doing is typing in forest Roblox style vibrant bright just describe how you want the forest to look now that is just for my thumbnails that's how I do it if you want to do it a different way you obviously can and you can obviously get a different background but anyways once you have the background done you're gonna to want to go do the same process click on it and then click download and then obviously save it to your uh, photos. But once you have your background done, what you're gonna type in is image blur, image blur online. You're gonna type in image blur online and you're gonna find this one that says lunar pick or luna pick. Now, once you guys have done that, you guys wanna click choose file, photo library, and then you guys are going to want to choose your background. Obviously, this is my background, click choose. And then we're, and then we're gonna click upload. And once we have clicked upload, it's going to a blur. We can uh, use this little thing up here to blur even more. And then we can also move it this way to sharpen it. So I'm gonna make it max blur, click apply. And then I'm going to click Click save to photos or add to photos. All right, now we got the two hardest parts of the way. Now we're just going to be customizing the thumbnail and seeing what this looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and open up CapCut. You guys are going to want to go from, you will start on the templates page and you're going to click on edit and then you guys want to type in photo editor. Now the first thing that you're going to want to actually go ahead and import is a YouTube thumbnail size picture. So to download one of these, all you have to do is go to Safari and type in YouTube thumbnail size. So if I just go here and I type in YouTube thumbnail size like so, and we can just go ahead and download one of these images let me just click and make sure this is in full screen first and you can obviously just go ahead and add that to your fo photos but the first thing we're going to import is one of these images right here so click here and click edit all right so now we have the correct thumbnail dimension and now what we're going to do is click add photo add our blurred background check this click edit and now we're going to want to scale this up it is a little blurry you guys can obviously fix that you can fix how blurry you want it to be but i want it to be pretty blurry i just want you to see some pretty vibrant colors and kind of make out the outline of what's in the background because we don't want the background to take away from the actual point of the thumbnail so the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do is click add photo i'm going to add another photo and i'm going to add our character and as you guys can see it has a black background right now because it's actually transparent so if i click add as you guys can see there's no white background and he actually fits in perfectly so obviously i don't want this to be too big so i'm going to kind of just put him to the side like he's like what no there's no possible way and then i'm going to actually click adjust and we can obviously adjust adjust how much he shines how bright he is uh obviously you don't want to do too much i'm going to just kind of play around with his settings a little bit uh just a little bit though saturation we're, we're just going to kind of add a couple of just random effects to him uh and i'm just going to click yes now the next thing that we're going to want to do is actually add text so whatever our thumbnail is actually about you can just use the default text i'm just going to put in some random word like robux and then you guys can obviously go to your styles you can add a stroke to it i usually add a black stroke you guys can obviously go ahead and change your fonts by going to the fonts tab and just selecting a random one i'm just going to select this one and then i'm going to scale this up a bit now again i'm just throwing this together really fast I do recommend you take time. Make sure your thumbnail actually looks great. Uh, so in this case, I'd probably just add an image, a Robux image to the bottom right there. But in this case, I don't really care too much. Now, guys, again, there's so much more that you guys can actually go ahead and do to make this thumbnail look better. I was just going through the run through, giving you the basic stuff. This looks kind of wonky right now, but I know that you guys can obviously make this look better. I just want to show you how to get all the assets together 
what thumbnail software to use and all that stuff but i'm gonna click export and boom now it uh now we can it's saved to our device and now we can go ahead and use it on youtube and all of those social media platforms so anyways if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe it helps the channel out a ton and we're trying to reach 100,000 by the end of the year so it'd mean a lot i post tutorials every weekend so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one